Hello, it's me again, coming with another tip for business owners in regards to structuring their taxes. I am Precious Wayne Peaks, owner of Anointed for Prosperity Bookkeeping and More. And today we're going to talk about the appropriate forms that go with the different business structures. First, we'll talk about sole proprietors and those who have a sole LLC. That means there is no one else on your articles but you. A lot of the times, um, because this isn't part of the education given, they come and they want to do their personal taxes and then their business taxes or vice versa. If you are a sole proprietor or a sole LLC, your business and personal taxes are one. Let's take a look. Of course, we know that they will be starting out with either a 1040 or a 1040 SR, depending on the age. With the 1040, of course, is all of the personal information. But for the business information, a sole proprietor or a sole LLC will put the information on a Schedule C for a regular business, a Schedule F if it's a farm, and a Schedule E if it is a rental property type of business. As you see, the Schedule C asks the basic questions, the name of the business, the type of the business, the EIN for the business, what is your accounting method, did you participate? It's going to ask you your gross receipts, your cost of goods sold, and it breaks down the expenses. I wanted to make sure to show this portion because a lot of times uh, people will reach out to their tax preparer and simply say, I spent $15,000 on expenses. When you send us the information, we need it broken down into what categories you, you sent, spent the money. If you're using your profit and loss statement, it will automatically show this, okay? The next type of business we're going to touch on real quickly is if you are a multiple person LLC, a partnership. A partnership or a multi-person LLC does not use a 1040 for business. For business, they would do a 1065. All of the business income expenses the investments, dividends, interest will go on the 1065. The 1065 needs to be done before your personal taxes because from the 1065, there will be generated a Schedule K-1 for each partner or each managing member or member of the LLC or partnership. So with a partnership or an LLC, we're going to do the business return before the personal return because you need the information from the business return in order to file the personal return, okay? The next, phase that we'll discuss is an S Corp. An S Corp, an LLC has the option of opting to be an S Corp or a small corporation. There are some tax benefits, but we will not talk about that during this training. They utilize an 1120S and just kind of like the 1065, it will ask all the basic questions, all the income, expenses, dividends, interest will all go on the 1120S. And with the 1120S, it will be routed out per um, member or shareholder through a K-1. The K-1 
is needed to file the personal taxes. So the 1120S would be filed before the personal taxes. Now, some have uh, corporations. Corporations are where people come in and buy stock. It may be a public entity. It may be a private entity. But the 1120 looks very, very similar to the 1120S. It does have a few different um, questions, but not very many. And the difference with the 1120 is the shareholders are paid out what's considered dividends. So if the company disperses during that year a payout to the shareholders, it is considered dividends on what they have invested. You'll notice that it asks what was the salary of the officers. The officers would be your board of directors, your CEO, your CFO, your COO. Those people normally have a salary. This is where you would report it on the taxes. Of course, the salaries and wages for any employees that you have. The board would be on a payroll system where taxes are taken out normally. And that is reported, of course, through W-2s, but for the shareholders, the investors, the people that bought the stock to get the company going, they get dividends and their dividends would be reported on a 1099 DIV. It is important to know the difference and for preparers to know what they should be getting from each type of business, those that are new, so that they know um, how to structure it. It's important for the business to know how to, um, in what time frame and in what order this needs to be done in order to avoid having to have amended returns or facing penalties for um, it being thought that they were hiding income. Hopefully this helped someone. We will discuss nonprofit entities at a later time because it's a little more detailed, a little more um, information to it. But as always, if you have any questions or need a consultation, please visit www.anointedforprosperity.com. We're here to help. Again, this is Precious Wayne Peaks, owner of Anointed for Prosperity, bookkeeping and more. May blessings be upon you.